Okay guys, welcome back to behind the scenes of Walking Lion Park. Basically today's video footage is going to be about shooting the red deer. All about collecting that stock video footage that is going to be used in the final documentary. It's a glorious winter's day and the park is actually quite packed. But what I'm doing is instead of, like the rest, going for a walk, I'm actually going to be heading over to check out the red deer. Now, the last time I've seen these guys, it was chewing the rut. And yeah, I did get some good video footage then. But today I want to check out how they've been getting along since. And also I want to check out Whereabouts it is that these guys do their drinking. You know, I think I know that they may be going to get a drink of water when they're thirsty. So I'm going to be checking that area out too. So anyway guys, I'm going to continue up these hills and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay people, so basically I'm uh, getting more stuck into the woods. And I got to say, I'm getting absolutely hot now. But I've just found some uh, deer tracks, so let's have a look. Here we go. You can see, uh, you can see him here, and you can see a few. There's a big one right over here. You see over there. There we go. We go on right there. So it tells me that I am making my way closer to where I think the deer are. So I'll catch up with you in a second. Okay guys, so basically I'm now here at the stream where I think that these deer, red deer, do come. I mean look at the space all around me. You see that? You see all that space? Now that space must be very attractive for the red deer just to come here in their herds. Uh, basically, here we go. You see this? You see all this room here? You see all the stream? Now, that must be an absolute delight for the deers to drink out of. You know, in the middle of all these woods, I've got a river here. i even seen some uh, red deer poo down there, but I didn't video it because I didn't think it was applicable. But basically, if you have a look at this, okay, have a look at this. You see, I'm actually stood in the stream. Now, the reason why I'm stood in the stream is because I've got waterproof boots on. Okay, and my camera is here on a little bit of grass, as you can see. Now, all this here, all this mud, man, is, is ankle deep. That is why I'm stood in the actual stream itself. So I'm going to move on over this side, and hopefully I'll come out into the field where I believe the red deer will be. Again, see you in a second. Okay, guys, so basically, I'm now out of the woods, and I'm correct. We've got the stags, the hinds, all grouped together by lantern wood. And it's not, it's not often you get to see the stags all hanging around together with the hinds because they're normally sexist animals, which means that, you know, the stags, they'll, the males, they'll stay in their own part of the field, whereas the hinds, they'll also stay in their own part of the field. And, you know, it's actually good to actually see them all together for a change. Now, one of the things I love about these guys, as you'll see now, is the way that they just all stand there and they just all look at you. You know, they just look at you with no fear. And, you know, I find that very, very remarkable indeed in an animal. And I'm just going to zoom in and see this guy. Okay guys, just to bring you up to date here. Basically, what I've got is I have one group of red deer located over this part of the field. And I have one group of red deer located over at this part of the field. And 
Even though it looks like a very sunny day, guys, you got to remember it's still winter and it is still slightly cold. Another thing we're doing today is let me pick the camera up. Another thing we're doing today here at GRP TV is we're testing out on the camcorder. Basically, what we've got here is one Sony DSR 500 WSP, so DV cam. Uh, camera and it's actually its first day being tested in actual fields and as, as you can see you know it is of professional spec you know the camera itself is with its body the viewfinder is separate the lens is separate and basically everything is separate on this and again today we're testing it out on uh walk line park project for its very first time so there you go guys you've just seen a behind the scenes of shooting red deer in line park well the sun is starting to go down it's going to get even colder so i've got my gloves back on and i'm ready to go home so see you all soon